These are our prototype VR shoes from FreeAim, designed to let you walk in virtual reality while staying in the same spot in real life. I'm Alex, and in this video I'm going to be going over a bunch of updates on what we've been working on here at FreeAim, and I'm also going to be showing you gameplay footage in the background of me using the VR shoes. Our main focus has been making forward walking, turning, and stopping as easy as we can make them. To that end, we've developed a mobile app, which is still a work in progress, that we can use to configure settings on the fly. We've used it to test different algorithms for smoothing out the walking motion, speeding up, slowing down, setting sensor thresholds, and testing positional correction. We've also developed a web page where we can load sensor data that we log for each of the shoes. This has been really helpful for seeing if our code is reacting to the sensor values in the ways that we expect. There are, of course, improvements that we can still make and will continue to make, but with these tools and changes in the code, the shoes feel a lot smoother and more responsive to use, and hopefully make it easier for a total beginner to use them, like my friend here, who's trying them out for the very first time. We've also been working on improving positional correction. You can see here that I'm walking forward, but in addition to negating my forward motion, the shoes are also moving me sideways. This is done using the rotating drive modules on the shoes. They rotate just a little bit to help compensate for the user inevitably drifting away from their origin. There's still more work to be done on the correction system, but so far it's been working pretty well for a play space the size of mine. We've also been experimenting and prototyping with different kinds of support frames, with this one being one of the latest. It's still very much a work in progress. We've still got a lot of work to do, but those are some of the things we've been working on here at Freeam, and I hope you found them interesting. Since it's the end of the video, I'm going to end with responding to a question that I hear quite a lot, and we might make this a regular thing where we respond to a question or a comment at the end of the video, so if you have one, feel free to leave it down below. I've heard comments from some people saying that they're worried that with the VR shoes they'll just get too immersed and they'll forget themselves and they'll just forget about the, say, the max speed of the shoes, and they'll just go running straight into a wall, or they'll run into something, or they'll fall. And to respond to that, I will say, you do need some awareness when you're using the VR shoes, but I don't think it's really all that different from the awareness that you need when you play a room scale VR. You know, with room scale VR, you need to be aware of the Guardian, and you need to be somewhat aware of your surroundings. And with the VR shoes, I don't really find it to be much different than that. So if you can play room scale VR, you should be able to handle the VR shoes. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more and you like the video. We have a bunch more gameplay videos that we'll be releasing in the coming weeks.